Hey, so I started this new thing where I'm juicing. I got this really nice juicer. It's by this brand called Acock. Okay, so that's what it's called, Acock. It's a slow masticating juicer. So I've only been doing this for the past, I've only been doing this for the past, I wanna say week. So I don't do it on the days that I work. It's always on the days that I'm off. Um, but I could just briefly show you what I've been juicing and I just the main reason why I'm bringing it up is because I'm noticing a really great difference in my skin um, it just feels very supple and I wake up and it feels glowy um, granted I did do a um, like a mini spa day but this is different like my spa days you make my skin nice and soft yes but this is like I feel like it's coming from within <laughs> so I just want to show you what I'm putting in my juice um, it may look like a lot and it may look like kind of gross, but it's actually really, really good. So let me show you real quick. So I'm going to wash this yet, but I put some kale. I put celery. Um, I also put um, carrot. I put pineapple to help it to get a little more sweet. I put some baby spinach. Um, and then in this bag here, I just have stuff that I've already, I've already chopped. So I put some cucumber. Cucumber, I probably will only use about this much of it because this is a very large cucumber. And then I also use um, ginger. Ginger is amazing. It's an amazing anti-inflammatory. So I add that to it as well. This kind of is a big piece, so I'll chop it down a little bit. And then I also add some beets. I have a beet that I already chopped. And then um, I'm debating if I'm going to use the green. I noticed that when you do the beets and the ginger, it's really, really like spicy. I also add apple. So I add some apples. I just want to add one um, Granny Smith apple. And I also add some type of citrus, whether it's a lemon. You could put the whole thing in here. And I'll show you um, how amazing this little juicer is. So I'm not juicing to the point where I'm only... Um, drinking juice I'm still eating I'm, I eat a I want to say I eat more of an 80-20 diet because I will I prepare a lot of my meals for the week and I do um, eat in but then I also do eat out too but my breakfast especially when I'm home is the most important meal of the day to me because I always try to incorporate something really healthy the juicing thing is new um, usually in the mornings I will have like oatmeal before the gym um, but the juicing is something that I've just started doing and I really, really like it. It gives me tons of energy and I don't know if it's all in my head or what or not, but it gives me tons of energy to break through and do what I got to do in the gym. So I'm just going to show you guys what, how the juice turns out and, um, what this one's going to taste like. Cause I am going to tweak the ingredients up a little bit. There's a big mess after you finish juicing, unless you're really clean and organized and somebody's helping you. But there's a really big mess, I will say that. But it's, it, it really, you're looking at my skin right now. I have absolutely no makeup on. And I, I feel confident enough to come on this camera here and show you guys my skin. So, granted I have spots, but those will eventually fade. Um, but yeah, so let's try this drink. refreshing as I like <laughs> lose my voice so I used less beet than I did yesterday 
because yesterday I used a lot of beet and it was like so spicy and my belly was kind of like burning a little bit. And the ginger is like the perfect kick to punch through. Um, ginger, if you add that to a juice, it really like makes a difference, seriously. So, um, as you can see, that's a lot of green that you're getting. Granted, with juicing, you don't get the fiber because you're literally squeezing the juice from the fruits and vegetables. But you're getting way more nutrients than you ever would if you were to, like, are you are you drinking a green smoothie every day? Like, I feel like smoothies are hard for me to drink, to be honest. I, I'm going to be real with you, with you guys. But juice, I could just knock that back. So, it's now 1136. Even when I have work, I usually eat around this time. So for lunch today, it's this, this is my new favorite, favorite meal. I prepared it, I'm just gonna show you what I put in it. So I have some jasmine rice here. I'm gonna put some more. It's kinda hard to do one-handed. And today was leg day. So on my leg days, I usually intake a little bit more carbs. And now I'm going in with the ground turkey. I just added some cheese on top. So there's a the ground turkey. And then I have this beautiful um, pico that I made from scratch. It's just tomatoes, onions, with a squeeze of lime salt and pepper and then I'm gonna add some romaine lettuce and this last little sliver of avocado with some more cheese on top I like to have a balanced diet I believe in balance and um, you can still eat you know because what I'm gonna make later is 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 a little bit more on the indulgent side and I honestly don't see anything wrong with it because I'm preparing it from scratch I know what's going into it and why not but you'll see that in the next clip so yeah you see the skin though you see the skin just glowing and it's all just drinking my juices in the morning and just drinking my water i very seldom drink soda i did go to five guys last night so what i told you i do 80 20 80 percent i'm eating clean and the other 20 percent i eat with i want I did have five guys last night and I did have a soda then. It was just a couple sips with my burger and then I just chucked it. I definitely think I could do that because I work out so much. Um, obviously, if you're not very active, I can't sit here and tell you you can eat whatever you want and you're going to lose weight or you're going to stay trim or you're going to stay lean. Like I make a valiant effort and I train four days a week and I train heavy. Like I'm sweating. I'm fatigued. I'm tired at the end of my workout. Like, I'm not in there playing no games. It's gonna be banking. And don't mind my avocado looking absolutely crusty. They do oxidize. And I like to add a little hot sauce on top. And I feel like this is a very balanced, basically it's a burrito bowl. It's a burrito minus the, um, the tortilla shell. the tortilla shell I have the rice so I'm the meal here looks like a lot but I'm gonna tear this up I'm gonna tear this up. <laughs> all right so I'm gonna hi I'm a little glammed up eh I'm gonna um, prepare my dinner which is gonna be my lunches for the next two days to some people that sounds really boring but for me it works for my lifestyle and what I do and it's gonna be this tortellini. It's just, it's technically technically a soup, but I just I think it's more of like um like a pasta dish. I always keep the recipe on my fridge, like recipes that I always revisit, and I I just want to make sure I do it correctly, even though I've done it many times. I just like to keep the recipe, so I keep recipes here up on my fridge. Like I make a banana bread from scratch. That's my recipe for that. Um, and then I also like to make jerk chicken rice and peas for the Jamaican them <laughs> that's watching this I am Jamaican by the way my family is Jamaican I wasn't born there so my accent is non-existent <laughs> but um 
yeah i just grabbed the recipe off the fridge and it is called a tortellini i'm not sure you guys can see that it is called a tortellini tomato soup and italian sausage Um, I actually haven't used this buttery garlic French bread. It's so good. Basically, when I make the crostinis, I use um, butter. I'm going to use a garlic spread. This is going to be really garlicky. And I also top it with some Parmesan cheese and I toast it up on the um, in the pan. That's why I make the crostinis from scratch, actually. It's really, really good to have on the side of this dish. So while this is cooking, I multitask and I make the crostinis um, to have on the side. The more you make, the merrier because trust me, you're gonna eat a lot of this. Ooh, washed out. Ooh, look ghostly. Not the way I wanted it to, it was already cut in half with the butter inside. Um, not the ideal, just get your regular French bread and then you're just gonna butter both sides of the bread. But now I have to do a little bit more work and butter each individual half. It's okay. It's still gonna be good. It's nice on the side. Nice and toasted and cheesy. 